the directions. They tell us exactly what to do. Let's see what they say. The directions say we need a plate. Check. Next we need some water. Next we need some pepper. The last thing it says we need is blue soap, but I don't have any. But I do have blue paint. My dad is at the store getting blue soap. Should I wait for him and use the blue soap, or should I use the blue paint? Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Jayla. Who? Who? Doing a fun experiment, are you? Yes, Ollie, I am. The directions say I need blue soap, but I don't have any. Following directions is important. It's true. And God's directions are the best for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Oh, hi friends, I'm Justin the Mailman, and I have a great story for you today about making choices. We all have choices to make, like, should I bring an umbrella with me today or should I not? It's a good thing I chose to bring this umbrella. Now, let me just put the story mail in the mailbox. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a man named Pharaoh. Pharaoh was the king of a place called Egypt, and he did very mean things to God's people, the Israelites. Pharaoh made them do very hard work for a very, 
very, very long time without paying them. And Pharaoh wouldn't let them leave. Can you give Pharaoh a thumbs down like this? Now say, that's not good. That's not good. God saw that his people needed help. So he sent a man named Moses to lead them to a better place to live. God used Moses to make Pharaoh let his people go. Everyone say, hooray, hooray. So Moses led the people out of Egypt, away from Pharaoh and into the desert. While they were in the desert, God told Moses to tell all of his people to go camp near the Red Sea. They didn't understand why God would send them that way. Now they have a choice to make. Will Moses and God's people go God's way or their own way? What should they do? Okay, let's see. Yay, they went God's way. Good choice. While they were camping, they looked up and saw Pharaoh and his army coming towards them. Oh no, what are Moses and God's people going to do? Moses told God's people, trust God and don't be afraid. God knows what is best for us. God will make a way. Then God told Moses to stretch out his staff over the sea. So Moses did what God said. And look what is happening. The sea is parting and making a dry path for them to walk on. God made a way for his people. After they walked safely to the other side, God closed the waters and kept Moses and his people safe from Pharaoh and his army. That was amazing. Moses and God's people trusted that God knew what was best for them. And we can trust that God knows what's best for us too. Oh, hey, Ollie, tell me. Who knows what's best for you? God knows what's best for me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who knows what's best for you? God knows what's best for me. That's the truth, friends. Bye. So there's your story. And it's all true. God knows what's best for me and for you. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow. God knew what was best for the people in our story. And God knows what's best for us, too. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good. Look, Dad just set up the blue soap. Let's see if following the directions make the science experiment work. Yes, it worked. I can't wait to tell my friends about it. See you next time. Bye. God knows everything. 1 John 3.20 God knows everything. 1 John 3.20